is Polka and we back with another episode. Coming in at number four is John Rowe, please. <laughs> DDG. But before we get into it, let me hop into it. Let me tell you who I'm rocking. Okay, so one of the best trainers in Dallas, aka Jordan, Thoroughbred, you feel me? Quit playing with him, big poker. Y'all probably bigger than me because I'm skinny. But anyway, y'all go check out with him, link up with him, get your fitness on, pick up some workout gear, and tap into it. Black on, best on, and the biggest one to do it for sure. All right, so let me go ahead and tell y'all how I met DDG, YouTuber, rapper, and just an all around chill, cool dude. All right, let's get into it. So if you did not check out my Kevin Gates episode, you need to go back and do that. That's number three, all right? And Kevin Gates plays a huge role in this because he is the reason why I got my motivation to get my book to DDG. So, y'all, after the Kevin Gates concert, which I paid about $90 for, um, I was hurt. I was hurt. I was upset. I thought, like... Oh, I just took an L. So I called up one of my homeboys and we're talking. I'm like, hey, bro, come get me. The parking lot is closed and packed. So they're like letting one car out at a time. And I'm just like, look, I'm hungry. I've been on my feet. I don't work today. I did everything. Like, I just need to get away. So we leave and we go to IHOP. And we're talking about my experience at the concert and everything that happened. And I was like, you know what? I need to start DMing people. So I'm DMing everybody who opened up for Kevin Gates. Um, I DM June 15. Um, Y'all might know him as Gang Ty June. He's DMing me back, but I'm like, hey, can I drop the book off at the hotel? Can I do this? Can I do that? But you know, it's kind of weird. You feel me? So I never got to link up with him. I'm like, who else can I DM? Who else? And I am able to DM. DDG. So I'm sitting in the car with my homeboy and I'm DMing uh, DDG and I look up and he's outside his tour bus talking to some girls. So I'm like, oh yeah, it's finna go down. So this is my first concert, by the way. My very first concert. So I get the book after uh, Trump and I walk over to his security guards, which very big guys, by the way. I walk over and my homeboy's recording. I'm like, hey, y'all, um, I wanted to know if I give DDG my book. And surprisingly, they were all sweet. They are all amazing. He read uh, a couple of verses. He loved it. Talked about how, you know, it was short and he don't really like reading. So it was like the perfect book for him. Uh, the girls seemed excited. Uh, they actually liked my idea. And his whole team showed me love. They would follow me on Instagram. They they end up having me selling my books at the trunk. So I think I sold about two to three books that night on top of being able to give DDG my book. Um, and he went on Twitter and gave me some little fire emojis. Quit playing with me after I posted our engagement that night. Um, so yeah, that experience was a little about $90. Pay for parking, y'all. I'm very transparent, you know, because everybody you gotta have money for this. You don't, you just gotta grind. Um, so yeah, he was a nice dude, really chill, and a wonderful team. So I thank y'all for supporting me. I thank y'all for looking out for me. And thank y'all for just giving me a yes, because some people be tripping. <laughs> so until next time, we're going to be back with another episode. I'll see y'all next Monday at 5 o'clock.